सो नाउ लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट एम पी एम एल ए एम एल सी देर इनकम देर इनकम इफ दे आर पेड सैलरी बाय द गवर्नमेंट दैट विल बी फुल्ली टैक्सीबल बट इफ दे आर गिवन विद डेली कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनरी अलाउंसेज सच अलाउंसेज आर एग्जाम सच एज ट्रैवलिंग एक्सपेंसिस फूड एक्सपेंसिस कैंटीन फीस एंड ऑल आर गिवन टू सच एम पी एस एम एल एज गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट द गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट मीन्स द द पर्सनस लाइक मेम्बर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट मेम्बर ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली मेम्बर ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल देर इनकम If they earn, if they earn a salary, means they the government is providing them salary that is fully taxable under income from salary. But if they are provided with the allowances, if so, this allowances will also be a part of salary. So they are exempted. It is given in income from other source. It is also a part of salary. The allowances, allowances is a part of salary. When I teach salary to you all, that time you will know what allowances are. But such allowances are exempt under section ten. Under section ten seventeen, subsection seventy, and salary is fully taxable. Minor child's income at 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 home th- there is a minor child, and the minor child is earning income. The earning the income earned by him will be clubbed to the parent whose income is higher. If the if the husband if the husband is having the higher income than the wife, then the income of the minor child will be added in the husband's. income statement but if the wife income is higher then the minor's child income will be added into the wife it, it will be added into wife so let's see income of the minor child will be clubbed in the hands of the parent whose income is higher in the first year and for all the subsequent year same parent is liable to pay the tax so once the once the means the if the husband the father of the son and the son's income is clubbed into the father's income then for the subsequent year even though the father's income is less than mother it will be clubbed into the father's income but if wife income is higher then it will be clubbed into the wife's income that means mother of the son and subsequently if the wife's income get low then then also the wife it will be added into the wife's income in case of divorced parent who maintain custody of the child is liable to pay the tax if there is a uh, unfortunate divorce between the parents then the per- then the person bit 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 sorry then the father or mother whoever owns the custody of the child is liable to pay the tax of the minor income income normally parent is liable to pay the tax however in the following case child is liable to pay the tax if income earned by him by way of manual labor it is manual labor income earned by a child suffering from disability under section 80u that is handicap right handicap i'll teach deduction of 80s 80 chapter after this chapter have patience income earned is club then parent is liable for exemption under section 1032 maximum 15000 per child so what does this statement mean see if the if the child is earning a income of say 10000 in a year then such 10000 will be added into the father's or mother's income statement and it will be written as income from other sources minor child income in the inner column it will be written as 10000 less exemption under section 1032 1500 will be deducted and outside it will be 8500 in the outer column and it will go like that but if the if the child the minor child that is below 18 years old who is earning the income he is earning the income by way of manual labor manual labor or suffering from atu deduct atu or manual labor or manual labor means he is having a spe- manual labor and one more point one more point is missing over here if the income earned by the if the income earned by the minor child due to who specific talent specific talent means he is having a talent in uh, dance and all and after that he is earning such income then such income won't be tab- won't be added in the father's income or mother's income to the parents income so i want all to add one point over here i'll i'll dictate first that point you write in a rough somewhere if income earned by the child by way of talent creativity etc then it won't be liable too taxable to the father's income it won't be clubbed into the parents income i'm sorry take father every time but for making your explain to make you all explain i'm taking father as an example so it won't be added up in the father's income so i want you all to write this much first
आई होप यू हैव कॉपीड आई होप यू हैव कॉपीड रेंट रेंट इनकम वी हैव लर्न दैट रेंट इनकम गेट्स कंप्यूटेड इन इनकम फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी but which rent will be part of income from other sources that will learn in income from how income from other sources i want you all to make a note in income from house property that you make a star mark and write income from composite rent income from composite rent will not be the part of house property but it will be the part of income from other sources so what it is let me teach see rent from the rent from other than house property that is composite rent what is what does composite rent mean you have given a house or a flat at a rent with a total furnished flat you have given furniture ac bed and and everything utensils kitchen set everything you have given on rent to an tenant and the actual rent of the house is 20000 and you are providing such furnished flat you are charging 10000 more so 30000 if if the assets are separable assets are separable as in if the furniture are fixed if the furniture are wall fixed and and they are not separable then how it will be charged if the assets are not separable from the flat then it will be if income from other sources the entire entire income income received as a rent will be entire income received as a rent will be income from other sources but if the assets are separable then the income of house property that is say 20000 will be the part of house property and other assets will be income from other sources so you are understanding if we take the entire income set of 30000 20000 10000 then we will not be eligible to take deduction under section 24 if you remember at the rate of standard deduction 30% so that is a loss over here if we take income from other sources if the assets are not separable so i hope you are understanding the difference why the laws are made like this why the provisions are like this that is the reason behind that if it is not separable then the then the owner is made liable to bear the loss if the assets are separable say if we toss 20000 then he will be liable to take that 30% deduction under section 24 standard deduction one other sources will be taxable in other sources that is something different but he will be getting benefit on 20000 here he is not getting a single benefit something is better than nothing right so i hope you understand what is this sublet of rent sublet of rent what do you understand by sublet rent sublet rent means mr a gives rent to mr b means mr a has given the flat to mr b for rent but mr b is not able to stay his going for work outside station every now and then so and and the company is also providing him the accommodation facilities so he so what he decided to sublet the or because already he has paid in advance the rent to the owner so now he has no chance to take refund from it so he is subletting the property to other person c so income earned from such sublet of property will be part of income from other sources because it is not the property of the sec the basic criteria for income from house property was there should be a house property and the house property should have been given on rent if you it if i have not thought over there please make a note over there right now i i hope i have thought there should be a house property first of all so i i can't i can't recall right now but if i have not thought that's my mistake i am telling it right now house property rent is liable for income from house property only if the house property is owned by the owner and i he can't sublet the house property and take it under income from house property and take a deduction of standard deduction at the rate of 30% see sublet rent is also not part of income from other sources please copy this much I hope you understood. Please copy. If you want to remember what is sublet, see I am drawing a diagram. A rent to B. B sub rented to C. Such rent sublet rent income from other sources. If you want, you can make a diagram. I hope you it is visible. it is sublet rent sublet rent sublet rent it is sub rented and it is sublet sublet rent i hope you have copied this much let me revise once what we have learned till now mp mla mlc the income under section 10 17 sub section 70 the section is 10 sub section 70 the salary earned by mp mla mlc will be fully taxable under income from 
salary but allowances allowances which is a part of salary it is given as exemption such exemption under section 10 se section 17 will be exempt and it won't be part of the salary it will be part of income from other sources such income will become in under income from other sources and less exemption under section 1017 this is how you have to present in exam minor child income income of minor child will be clubbed in the hands of the parent whose income is higher in the first year and for all the subsequent years same parent is liable to create tax if once in a year if if in the beginning the if in the beginning the minor child income is added into the parents income whose higher income was there that for example father then for all the subsequent year if the child earns the income until he is minor the income earned by the minor will be clubbed in the hand of father if the parents have got divorced the person after such income uh, which is higher i have thought just now if uh, if the if after selecting of after selecting like father was the one in, in whose hands the entire income of minor child will be clubbed but after that few years they got divorced parents parents got divorced and the parent who was holding the custody of the child will be liable to pay the tax irrespective of the beginning irrespective of the beginning who was like who started paying the tax for minor child i hope you understood this confusion comes in the mind of every single person after divorce why it is like that after divorce it is assumed that they are different persons so the mother will be liable to pay tax or the father whoever is holding the custody normally parent is liable to pay the tax however in the following cases child is liable to pay tax income earned by way of manual labor income earned by child suffering from disability under section 80u income earned by the child by specific talent creativity etc i hope you have written that if income is clubbed then parent is eligible for exemption under section 1032 maximum 1500 per month 1500 per month i hope you also understood this the the amount of the minor child income is clubbed into the father's income for example then the father is liable to take exemption less exemption under section 1032 10 subsection 32 maximum of rupee is 1500 per child per year okay rent rent from the rent from other than house property rent from other than house property furniture plant and machinery etc composite rent if separable if the assets are separable if the assets are separable then house property income will be coming under income from house property but if other assets are also given such rent is also we are receiving it is income from house income from other sources not separable then the entire income or both the income will be coming under income from other sources sublet of rent does not does not become a part of income from house property it becomes a part of income from other sources i hope you have understood this much next video on remuneration interest income and the remaining sections.